Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, 2Rs2Bs, GundamReviews.net. And some good news, if you've been a fan of the Gundam Age models that have been coming out so far, they've kind of leveled in a couple of grades between Advanced Grade, a couple in Master Grade, but it's been the High Grade line that had a strong start with lots of kits coming out, sort of slowed down and moving into 2013 with 2012 and the broadcast wrapping up. We had to wonder what was going to be coming out, but at the All Japan Hobby Show, which is being held in Chiba right now, they had three big announcements today, starting with the fact, although it's not quite as good, so don't get your hopes up too much about two of these three, but hopefully we're going to have some good news, because they announced the high-grade Gundam Age 1 Full Gransa, which is the one that was piloted by Papa, or I should say Grandpa Flit, in the third generation up at the end to go along with the Age FX and the Dark Hound, is under consideration, and they're looking at a release price of 1,600 yen sometime in 2013. Again, take it with a grain of salt because we already saw with the 00 movie that they had kits under consideration on display at hobby shows and they never did come out. Setsuna, I wish you had another mobile suit to go along with your Exia 00 and Quanta, but it never did happen. Along those same lines, also under consideration, we're going to be getting the Shaldol Rogue. Same uh, thing as the full arm or the full grants for the age one. 2013 release, 1300 yen. It would probably just be a recolor. I'm trying to think if there was anything remolded for the pirate version of the Sheldol. Still, if these two come out, hopefully that's going to kick things off and the age line is not going to be completely dead. And especially with the age one not requiring too much of a remold, just some extra plates. Hopefully it's on the horizon. But one set of good news is that they did confirm that the Age FX is going to be getting its burst mode. And when I took a look at the model and uh, sillily went out and bought uh, more than one to put together my own full bur or my FX burst version, mine is just sort of painted up, although it's gonna it's got some nice blue on it, except the green for the C funnel certainly doesn't fit. Bandai has fixed that with their own, and taking a look at it, it's really quite interesting when you see some of the pictures that have been taken that are on blogs all over the internet now. It looks like he's going to be having the regular 6 large and 8 small. Those are on display in a ring, but it looks like they've actually got a whole new plate. I just figured they'd put in more of the same plates. But when you look at the ones that are coming out, they seem to have a very unique shape. They also don't seem to have the purple or the blue part stuck onto them. So it's sort of cool that they've got a whole new design of these things that are going to be jutting out all over the place. And they seem to be the large size, which is certainly going to set up for some very cool displays. It explains the bump up in price because you're just going to have some more plastic, but definitely in the right color and definitely something to look forward to. 1800 yen and that is confirmed for a January release and hopefully those considered kits that you just heard about are going to become real. Anyway, lots of other news from the 52nd All Japan Hobby Show, so stick around for that. And of course, thanks to Hayamimi Gunpla Information Station, where you can check out all sorts of news on that in English, and you can see tons of people were there to check it out. Anyway, everybody wanted to let me know, other kits from age, there's lots that are missing and lots of recolor possibilities that don't seem to be hitting the shelves and also don't seem to be under consideration. But that's probably a topic for another, one, uh, another video. At least we've got one more, and maybe two more on top of that. So stick around for reviews of those, and as always, thanks for watching, and stick around for lots more news, reviews, and everything else you can use. See ya. I don't know, if you were an advanced grade, you'd be perfect for army building, but a high grade recolor? Oh well, to complete the set.